Hello everyone, are you having problems getting onto Desolation servers? There's a lot of people who seem to be. Um, whenever I've been playing on them, I've noticed lots of people logging in and then getting kicked for various reasons uh, because they haven't installed the mod properly. So I'm going to show you how to do it and how to play on any server. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to go to Workshop on that for Armour 3 and I'm going to browse my subscribed items and I'm going to delete everything. I uh, don't need that. Right, um, these are to do with desolation. This one, this one, all the NI, all the cup. CBA, I'm just going to refresh this page because it's kind of weird. Um, yeah, NI again, enhanced movement, NI. HLC packs and of course desolation itself. I'm pretty sure that's everything. But I'm just gonna make sure. Yep. So the next thing you want to do and I think this is one of the things people are forgetting to do is you need to go to your Steam directory. Actually I've got a quick way to get there for me. I've actually made a shortcut. So you need to go to so it'd be program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, then armor three. And then you need to get rid of all these cut ones. And that file and or the HLC um, I mean if you wanted to you could just delete them all and it wouldn't matter um, I get NI all the NI ones I think that's it. And there's one way to find out. So then, did I remove desolation? I, no, I didn't. Haha, <laughs> kind of important, don't you think? Right now, I'm going to start up Armour 3 so we get the Armour 3 launcher. And we're going to check. So, there we go, they've all gone. There you go. So there's nothing to do with um, desolation on here at all anymore. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back onto Steam Workshop and I'm going to subscribe to one mod only and that's the desol desolation one itself. So I'm just going to type in desolation and it's this one, it's the one with the guy who's obviously got a red chem light. I don't know what the hell that is and I don't know what the other ones are, but that's what you want. Then we're going to uh, let it install or let it download, which is going to take a while. And um, while it does, I will pause the video just to you know speed things along so it's not too long because it's already been nearly four minutes. So as you can see, it's downloading. Uh, we see you when it's when it's done okay we're nearly done just like that there we go that's updated now the next thing you do is you go to this this is the dependencies so you want to click on this um, I'm, and we're going to be setting up two different presets we're going to be setting one for playing desolation nav and one for playing on other maps like Chinaris because that I think that's the main reason that people are trying to get on Chinaris and stuff and getting kicked um, so I need to open this up and fix selected dependencies this is the bit that's going to take a while so as you can see it's subscribed and loaded all of them and now it's got to download them as it's doing there see so I'll be back when it's finished to show you how to do the next part. Okay, so those are all updated. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to save that preset as desolation. There we go. No, actually, sorry, my mistake. I'm going to save it as def desolation map. So it works for um, nap for summer and nap for winter because they're part of the same. Um, the nap for island um, three. So, so that's nap. That's uh, desolation nap. Now we're going to unload this. There you go. It's going to say that. Just going to unload this mod only, and then we're going to save this as just desolation. There we go. Spelled that wrong, that's why it didn't ask me to uh, get rid of that. Didn't get rid of that. Right, so I'm going to do this again. Save as, and we're going to spell it right. Yes. Eventually. There we go. So now we've got desolation nap and desolation. So use this one if you want to play on the NAP servers, and this one if you want to play on Chinaris or if there's any Podigos ones about. So what we're going to do first, we're going to do Desolation NAP. Okay, so I'm going to record this bit in uh, DX Tori actually. I think that'd be that'd be more sensible. So we go into multiplayer. I've already got Desolation in as the filter. So this is NAP. See, they're going to be red, the Cherno ones. None of them are restarting. There we go. So as you can see, don't worry about these. That's armbands, that's server side only. Uh, for, it's for that particular server, the AK pack, um, that's fine. The main thing is, if you have a green thing with a question mark, a green circle with a question mark, you should be able to log in. So I'm going to log in just to show you. Okay. The reason it's doing an update is because they put um, AI on, roaming AI. There you go, I already got kicked by now. I'm not going to actually come in, I'm going to get to the character screen and then I'm going to log, log back out again. Because you wouldn't get to the character screen, you'd get kicked before then anyway, if there was a problem. And what's going on here? Yeah, my three's gonna. There we go. Here we go. Being a bit slow. I think it's because I've got the. Uh... There we go, there's my character. Everything's fine. Right. Now, we're going to do it on um, Chinaris, for example. So, to do Chinaris, obviously, we've got to change presets. Um, you'll notice that that automatically changed, so it had um, Nap Island. Now, when I do Desolation, that's to see, that one's gone and disabled. So I'll see you on the on armor three. Okay, right. So this time it's going to be Okay that one I haven't been on this one so that doesn't look that looks a bit blurred, doesn't it? 
definitely set it up to be the... Oh, it's changed. Never mind, don't worry about it. So you can see that saying that, but you watch. For some reason this isn't... Um, it should be... Uh, windowed full screen. Better not to worry. I think it might, I think I know why. It's because the launcher is saying windowed and the game saying windowed full screen, so it's getting kind of confused. So it's going back to windowed. I think I might start playing it in windowed full screen now. Okay, get that out of the way. I think the reason it's being a bit laggy is because um, I've got Camtasia paused in the background. There we go, there's my character. I'm not even going to bother customising him. Don't think anyone plays on this server, to be honest. There we go. This is not Chinaris. Oh, it's, it's a scuba, isn't it? Okay, so as you can see, it's all working. Uh, you can play on any server. I picked this one at random. Um, I haven't been playing on this one myself, as you can see, because I'm a fresh one. Okay, so as you can see, you can log on to any server you want. you just got to make sure you do the necessary either desolation or desolation nap. Um, it also means you can play on, it doesn't matter what version of um, Desolation they're running. Um, that first server I was logging on to, uh, the NAP one, that was an earlier version, it was 0 0.1 instead of 0 0.4. Um, I would recommend um, this, these servers, the Moto Clan, that's what I've been playing on. Uh, they're US servers, um, they run a lot better than any of the other ones I've played on. And also, um, the admins are good, I've talked to them, I've also um, uh, put comments in the forums and they've been answered almost immediately. Because um, I did mention about, um, is there any chance that they'd update it to the uh, latest version so that houses work properly and they they said they're going to put their, uh, their guys onto it straight away. And I also put a, a comment on about the AI despawning straight away as well. You know, they seem to answer and they're very I've been on their team speak as well and they're very polite um, and also it's, it's a US server but I actually when I was playing on the warp Forsaken which is hosted by black box servers the performance wasn't great I was getting good FPS but I was getting a lot of rubber banding and it was the same on desolation on the warp servers as well and um, I think that's t t something to do with black box servers but yeah these guys seem pretty nice and um, and I'm enjoying playing on the server, so it would be nice to see it get more populated as well. So anyway, um, one thing I would recommend is before you go ahead and do all this, I should have probably said this at the beginning, but I'm hoping you'll watch the video through first before you actually do anything, but maybe you won't, is check with your ISP to make sure um, that you have unlimited downloads or that you don't go over your download limit, because you know I don't want you getting... Um, a bill with your next phone bill saying oh you went over your 40 gigabyte or your 100 gigabyte limit because this is quite a big mod it's something like 14 or 16 gigabytes uh, with all these together because look just one of these okay, that's quite small I think 1.4 megabytes yeah cup weapons cup weapons on his own is 1.4 gigabytes um, that's that's only 20 meg megabytes but a lot of these core cool ones see that's seven on its own Units is two. HLC Kuas is yeah, small. Uh, the maps one's big, 2.1. Uh, cup vehicles is 3.8. So, you know, you're talking about a lot of gigabytes here, so I'd be careful of that. 
So as long as you follow this and do what I've showed you, you should have no problems at all. So thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. It should be. And um, come and join. Come and play. Um, let's let's make sure that desolation is not dead. Let's try and um, will it to keep to keep going. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.